guys welcome back if you're new here my name is adiat and i have two babies and one husband and we're based in manchester united kingdom and my page is all about intentional living how to elevate your standard of living and how to do a lot of things to your home and how to make the house look super glam without little people holding you back i'm still new to the whole youtube thing so please bear with me with time i'm going to get super comfortable but i'm really happy with this ace and let's do it so today guys i am going to show you how to make your bed super luxurious i mean hotel standard so i'm going to show you how i make my bed with the right cushion the right size the pillow and the beddings and the duvet so i'm going to show you guys everything so let's do it so guys first i'm going to of course take away all the dirty beddings so I change my bedding every seven days. I think that's the ideal time to change your bedding. So I change it every week. Even my kids, everybody, we all change it every seven days. So this is the protector. So guys, it would be lovely below if you could let me know when you change your bedding. Do you change it every week? Do you change it every two weeks or you don't? It's an interesting topic that I've had a couple of times on my Instagram. So I'd love to know what you guys think as well. When is the perfect time to change the bedding? Let me know. So guys, every seven days as well, I always clean my headboard. So I use hot soapy water and washing up liquid. That's all I use. And I use microfiber cleaning cloth and I just wipe the headboard because the headboard holds a lot of dust. You'd be surprised if you clean your headboard, the amount of dust you're going to see. You'll be shocked. So I just go over it like this to clean for dust and then I come down. guys just make sure you clean everywhere because dust are everywhere you'll be surprised you'll be surprised guys so guys the first thing i usually put on my bed is a mattress protector i feel like that protects it from anything because sometimes i have tea in here you know liquid spillage anything and that protects the mattress from getting damaged so first thing first mattress protector Today, I've told him he needs to show his face today. He's very shy. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we're gonna do this first. So guys, a mattress protector is a must. We all need it. The next thing is a, a fitted sheet. I always use a fitted sheet because I think it's easier than a flat sheet because of all the edges. I don't use a flat sheet, never, ever, ever. So the next thing is going to be the duvet. We always use um, a duvet and of course with the duvet cover. So my husband's going to do the duvet and I'm going to change the cushions. So guys, I'm going to change the cushion covers. So I have two sizes of cushion covers and I, I use a 42 centimeter and I use a 50 centimeter. The 50 centimeter is a 20 inches and the 43 is a 17 inches. Actually guys, I do my um, duvet a different way entirely to the way he's doing it now. Well, it works for him and my method works for me as well.
I'm just changing the pillowcase now. We like quite a few on our bed as well for extra support. guys i'd love to know how does it work in your home do you do you change the bedding yourself or does your partner and my sister or you just want to get it done yourself because you like doing things yourself let me know so now guys we have changed the pillow and everything now this is where the fun begins so i'm going to show you how we actually make it look super luxurious super stylish so now guys i'm going to show you how we make our bed so the duvet goes first we make sure it's straight We're just going to tuck in each edge. So this is where I come in. The first thing I'm going to do is just place my pillow here. So I have different styles. You could do it this way flat on the floor and then stack it up on each other but I like this way and then the next one is gonna go in which is this one and next I am going to go in with the cushion so this is the 50 centimeters cushion just make sure it's nice and all thumped up and then you give it a big chop. <laughs> yeah, you see that? And that goes there. And I'm going to do the same for the smaller one, which is a 43 centimeter as well. I'm going to make sure it's nice. And that goes there as well can you see that guys and i'm going to do the same for the other side as well and i'm just gonna go with this one here i like that for extra support and so the last thing to go on the bed is going to be the bed bread. I like that. And sometimes when it gets too hot, uh, we use the bed spread and not the duvet. So yeah, I got this bed spread from the Elm. In my opinion, I think the Elm, I think they do really nice beddings, bed spread, duvet. They, they can be a bit pricey sometimes so i know like this duvet set is from donnell but i can assure you they last for a long time they last forever but it can be pricey but if you if you know donnell you know how to go about because sometimes they're on sale and stuff and um, i'm gonna get my husband to help me with this one i need help with this one so guys this is a skin iron that's what i use on some of my bedding if I didn't hang on them beforehand.
well guys here's the finished product i really hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as we've enjoyed putting it together so this is actually my reality this is how i make my bed every day like i said intentional leaving when i wake up in the morning i make my bed my kids bed and this is how it looks all the time oh yeah guys i asked you earlier how long do you change your bed is it weekly is it every two weeks we change ours every seven days so please comment below i really want to know so guys continue to share the word continue to like comment share tell your friends everybody but i am so grateful thank you guys for your engagement so far i am humbled hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and i shall see you next week for my next video thank you guys bye